Cancer causing foods. Are there foods that cause cancer? Genetic makeup and family history play a role in malignancy, but a review published in the Annals of Agricultural and Environmental Medicine in 2019 indicated that about 80 to 90 percent of malignant tumors are caused by external environmental factors, and it is worth noting that some foods can lead to an increased risk of type 2 diabetes and obesity, which is associated with certain types of cancer, and some other foods contain carcinogens. They are harmful substances that have the ability to cause cancer, and we mention from these foods the following. If you like this kind of content, please hit the subscribe button and put like and comment on this video. Processed meat. Processed meat is defined as any type of meat that is preserved by smoking, salting, curing, or canning. And most processed meat is red meat. Examples include sausage, salami, corned beef, dried meat, and sausage. Fried foods. When starchy foods are cooked at high temperatures, such as frying, baking, and roasting, a compound known as acrylamide is formed. And fried starchy foods, in particular, contain a high percentage of this compound, including fried potato products, such as French fries and potato chips. And a study published in Frontiers in Nutrition in 2018, which was conducted on animals, indicated, however, there is not enough research on the health risks of acrylamide to humans. Dairy Products. A 2015 review published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, indicated that high intakes of dairy products, milk, low-fat milk, cheese, and calcium sources from dairy products, can lead to an increased risk of prostate cancer, but more is needed. There are several studies to demonstrate this effect in prostate cancer subtypes. Artificial sweeteners. Two large amounts of artificial sweeteners can be caused, including aspartame, saccharin, and cyclamate and increasing the risk of bladder cancer in rats, when eaten in large quantities, however, humans are not affected in the same way, as artificial sweeteners are considered safe to eat. Processed, pickled, or salty foods. Cured or pickled meat, contains a substance known as nitrate. Eating nitrates in large quantities, may increase the risk of cancer, especially colon cancer, and therefore, it is recommended to limit processed meat in the diet, this is because they also contain a high percentage of fat and salt, as salt is linked to an increased risk of stomach cancer, and it should be consumed in limited quantities. Burnt or grilled foods. These foods, contain a group of carcinogenic substances, known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, and therefore it is recommended to use cooking methods at relatively low temperatures, and to reduce the intake of meat and foods grilled on charcoal, and low temperature cooking methods, steaming, boiling, baking, microwave, and roasting. Are there foods that reduce the risk of cancer? Although, there are many foods that help reduce the spread and growth of cancer cells, however, current research is limited to laboratory, animal, and observational studies and more studies are needed to find out how these foods affect the development of cancer in humans. And the following is a mention of some foods that can reduce the risk of cancer. Vegetables and fruits. Vegetables and fruits are a rich source of vitamins and nutrients that are believed to help reduce the risk of some types of cancer, focusing mostly on plant foods such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and nuts. And people who follow this diet, usually choose olive oil as an alternative to butter. And fish as an alternative to red meat. Fatty fish. Fatty fish contain, including salmon, tuna, and herring, are high in omega-3 fatty acids, which is associated with a reduced risk of prostate cancer. A 2006 study, published in the International Journal of Cancer, indicated that eating fatty fish and marine fatty acids regularly, helps reduce the risk of prostate cancer. Olive oil. A review published in Lipids and Health and Disease in 2011, indicated that olive oil intake is associated with a reduced risk of breast cancer and gastrointestinal cancer. There is not enough information on whether 
olive oils monounsaturated fatty acid content, or its antioxidant components are responsible for its beneficial effects. High Fiber Foods Foods rich in fiber are associated with including whole grains, legumes, and vegetables, reduce the risk of colon cancer. A 2015 study, published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, showed that consuming the highest amount of dietary fiber, helped reduce the risk of colorectal cancer and adenomyosis. Carcinoma of the distal colon, the effect of dietary fiber may also begin, especially from grain and fruit sources in the early stages of colorectal cancer. Nuts and Seeds a 2015 study published in the British Journal of Nutrition, showed that, eating nuts was associated with a reduced risk of cancer, and death rates from cancer in people with diabetes, obesity, metabolic syndrome, and smokers. With regard to the role of seeds, a study published in the journal Nuts and Seeds in Health and Disease Prevention, in 2011 indicated that, many different components of seeds, play important roles in reducing the risk of cancer especially phenolic compounds, or polyphenols, as these compounds have anti-inflammatory properties cancer, due to its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory activities. How can the risk of cancer be reduced? While the diet contributes mainly to reducing the risk of cancer, other healthy habits can reduce it as well, and we mention from these habits the following. 1. Increasing physical activity. Physical activity can reduce the risk of cancer by helping to control weight, and it can also help improve hormone levels, and the way the immune system works. 2. Maintaining a healthy weight, being overweight or obese, may increase your risk of developing a number of cancers, including, cancer of the colon, breast, prostate, pancreas, endometrium, kidneys, gallbladder, esophagus, and ovaries. 3. Avoid exposure to industrial and environmental toxins such as asbestos fibers, benzene, aromatic amines, and polychlorinated bifenyls. 4. Sleeping enough hours, not getting enough hours of sleep may lead to weight gain. It is a risk factor for cancer. 5. Stop smoking, it is worth noting that, people who quit smoking regardless of their age, they live longer than those who continue to smoke. Quitting reduces the risk of cancer of the lung, larynx, esophagus, mouth pancreas, bladder, and cervix. There are more than 4,000 chemical compounds, and 43 different carcinogens in nicotine. It is also advised, not to sit close up of smokers. 6. Reducing salt use, as mentioned previously, processed, smoked, and nitrite preserved foods, should be avoided. As it has been shown that consuming large quantities of these products, may lead to high rates of stomach and esophageal cancer, 